Johnny when you give it away? Oh, you know, I was talking to, just talking to Luke Stewart. He said, how are you? I said, well, we've been through plenty of these. I mean, normally we've been coming out on the other end, so I'm feeling good. Did you think you'd thrown it away there in the second half? Uh, I knew it was still a chance. You know, look, I thought we always looked dangerous when we got when we got field position. Um, in the first half, we you know we, we didn't get much field position, and uh, so I thought you know we still had plenty of time. But you know, really, it was, it was we made you know I thought we made some you know defensive errors there when we when we got back uh, got back to fourteen all I think it was. Uh, we put ourselves up. We kept sort of getting back and then putting ourselves under pressure, but anyway, we come away with it in the end. Chris Sanders, field goal, what do you say? Yeah, well, you know, I mean, he practices a lot. We practice a lot, you know, and he's not the only one that can kick him either. You know, Dave Tarlin, he'd be, kicking, he'd, he'd be <laughs> filthy up in the sand. Um, but, you know, we, we do practice a lot. We, you know, we play games with this lot of field goal kicking and that, and, you know, so... Uh, and, and I've seen him, you know, I've seen him hit him from halfway plenty of times at training, so... Uh, often just not so much in the practice he'll just stand there and have a go crack I saw him kick one the other day from about you know 10 metres from uh, 10 metres from the sideline and about you know 48 metres out and crack one over so I, I knew he could do it but uh, to do it under pressure like that is a different thing There was a lot of pressure too John obviously that game's kept you place well for lots of attention yeah, I mean, in the end, you've got to start winning some games. <laughs> you know, you can't, it's, hard to, it's hard to go forward if you keep getting beaten. But like, and we needed the two points, you know, desperately. But I, you know, I said to the boys at half time, we looked like a football team again, which I thought against the Sharks we were terrible. Um, you know, we were better, but I thought really mainly with a better side. Even when we got to the lead, I think there we sort of we jagged our way to the lead somehow. I, I just our football wasn't solid last week, but I thought tonight, first half, even though I thought they had the edge on us uh, in that first half slightly, um, but I thought we really, we, you know, were competing well. If we could just, you know, wind it up a bit, we could go on with it. And uh, but you know when we, you know, we we made a few errors and defensive errors, but I, I thought the Roosters were pretty good tonight too. Uh, I thought both, you know, I, I thought both sides really, you know, really competed well. You know, they, I thought their kicking game was excellent. They mixed it up. You know, they they put the they put the spiral bombs up. They you know they sat them in the in goal. They they you know and they've got uh, so I, I thought they were really good. And but in the end, we came home and that you know got square in that last ten minutes. And then I thought we had the better of the golden point period and deserved to get the get the points. Croc, you think your boys can build on this? Obviously, it was a tough match, mate. Big turnaround. Yeah, definitely. And you know, we we just can't get. Uh, get complacent. We've been working pretty hard for the last sort of three months and you know, we was playing good in patches so we've just got to make sure we keep working on that and you know, get some confidence each week and make sure we, we uh, keep competing for those events. Was there a sense for the team that your season could be over if you'd lost tonight? No, we, we're not focused on that at all and you know, it is a cliche but every week we just got to focus on um, putting our best performance in for the 80 minutes and you know, we, we know that the results will come if we, if we uh, perform to our potential. Great, this is certainly in there, John. Yeah, well, the uh, you know we've got to get him the ball and, and get him the ball with a bit with a little bit of room to move. So uh, and when, when you know when when we do that, uh, you know he, he's got he's dangerous and um, it's sort of he's had a funny old season, Greg. You know he's very underdone at the start of the season. Then he got injured. Uh, then he's had the state of origin. So you know before tonight we had a third of the season left. I think. You know, it's hard. It's been very hard for you know to, for Greg to really and, and for us to develop how we get how we get to use him uh, because he, he's been in and out of the side, often not training, as I said, because of state of origin. So it, it's been a, it's been a diff, it's been difficult for us, it's been difficult for him. But I think we'll really see the best value out of him over over the next uh, you know seven games. And he slotted the second receiver a fair bit tonight. He sort of jumped in there and sort of starts and that sort of thing. We expect to see more involved coming weeks, I guess. Well, yeah, we're, we're, we're working on different things to get him more involved, than rather than just necessarily sit out out wide all the time. But um, we probably want to do it. You know, we're getting him the ball rather than him having to go looking for it all the time.